Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone will be fine and welcome back to the part number three. So in this video, I'm going to cover up the detail page I explained in the last video. So I highly suggest that if you watch my very first two videos, then jump to this video and get the detailed information about the route. So here you see we have the search product as long as I type something and I you see here we get the list of all as long as the, the data match, right? And once I click on this route, I want to create a new new page with the, with having the details. So if I'm gonna go to my inspect element, so let me uh, go to the inspect and show you on my console. So this is the array. It all depends on the matching records. We have array of list uh, 50, the total, and as long as I can search it, now it search with the 22 attributes, with the 22 data results. And we need to get the the information, the, the extended information about the image, the price, and the date, and the and the and there are furthermore details that I need is the yeah we can add up as much we want all the data which which actually inside this uh, so let's uh, create that detail page and how we can route the data and um, and we can create another component uh, which is which gonna be the search detail component so let's gonna jump and get start here so we have already source and inside source app we have a search component and we have a service defined as well so if i go right to the app.module.ts file you see here we have defined here something which is known as the router module so just like the way i have defined this component i'm going to create another component and we can define define our path the very first part that we're going to define so let's going to do go down here ng g for generate c for component and let's give it the name of service dash detail so this is going to create the uh, detail component for us so right after the path as i explained just want to copy that up and uh, i'm going to paste it down here and this should be the search dash detail so whatever the name that you want to define for your route which i'm in my case should be search dash detail and i'm going to copy that component because this should be the for the detail component so I, i'm going to paste that up and you see and as well as i need here a comma to make them separate right so that's the uh, route that we define and that's all we need for the app.module.ts file so if i go to my um if i just want to go my, to my search.component.html and you see here uh, right inside this uh, ng for directive you see all the data is looped through it so i need to once i click on this all the list of any specific title or description so this is gonna bring me the information of this specific id so for that we have a something which is known as just like the input we have a we have a directive which is known as click so i'm going to define here click equal to so let's give it the name of the function that should be get detail page and let's pass here the object which we define which is the result so let's going to pass it right up here and now if I go to the search.component.html, so it means that I need to be inside my search.component.ts file. And let's define here a function with the name of get detail page and pass here the parameter. So let's give it the name of result of type any, which could be any 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 uh, type. So let's console the log and check this out, what it, what it do. So uh, just to make this a little bit better, so I'm gonna give it the style equal to cursor pointer so we have a pointer so that means that we have some kind of uh, understanding yeah that that's going to be a link otherwise so once i click on this ex mol whatever it's you see here we get the id one and with having the detail of all so just like if i click the third id id three and it's going to display the information on the console so i need that that when the user click on this on this card this going to route to the end of the page on the detail page with the specific information of it, the ID. So let's gonna do and jump in. So I have defined here console the log. So I need to route this to the end of the page. So how, how I'm gonna define. So we have something which is known as the navigation extras. That's I'm gonna define on top the router. So let's gonna go inside here. I can do with the route as well, but I need to define here navigation extra that's the so that we can use the activated route which can help us to um, pass the extra parameters like uh, the params and the other other different parameters to pass so th this could be really helpful for us so let's import that first so import 
router and let's pass here navigation if you want that otherwise this still can route if you don't need that so navigation extras from the angular router so angular slash router and that's all we need so i need to define that right inside the constructor so right after the data service i need to define the router so it should be private router and router that's it right and uh, if i go down to it so we have a function with the name of get detail page so i'm going to create here a variable with the name of navigation extra so this should be with the small n so i created the, with the with the variable and um, let's define here navigation extras uh, equal to that information which our query parameter is going to, going to pass so this bring us the query params this navigation extras and you see what it actually gives us so we have a result coming from it and uh, let's json dot stringify to convert that into string and let's pass here the result all we need now if i go back and check this out so let me go to my console if i type something here and i click on here still yeah because we are not actually routing this page so i need to define that right after the end of the navigation extra so let's define it this dot router dot navigate so navigate should have the route which should, which in my case is search dash detail which is coming from the app dot module dot ts so make, make sure whatever the name of the path it should be right inside the router dot navigate and as i explained that we are also getting the navigation extras parameter so i need to define that up here and now if i go back and this is going to route me to the end of the page so let's type something here if i click on here and you see here on top we have the parameters going past the so results which bring us the id the title and the description the image as well so this is all these are all the parameters that we pass on the on the top of the url right so that's the uh, first phase now now we need to display all the information inside our service dash component on, uh, on the service dash detail page so let's gonna go inside our search dash detail and I'm gonna create a very basic layout so right now it's just a paragraph text so let's define here the container and inside container we have a row so dot row and right after that we have call dash md dash six margin top four and make that to be uh, in center so I need some margin to auto right that's it and let's go inside here so card I need to create here a card of margin bottom three so right inside here I'm gonna create here card dash body class and inside card dash body we have two things we first we need to create here a h5 tag with the card dash title so let's define here something for now and inside here we have another h6 class so h6 bring us the card dash subtitle so let's gonna bring this in and we also need that text dash muted alright so inside we have a span tag which can bring us the uh, actually should be a class of text dash primary so text dash primary and we need to have here the price so let's give it the dollar 15 here right so this should be the end of the 86 and right after the 86 tag and the div we need have we need to have here a uh, image source so just make that empty for now and right after the image tag we have a card dash body div so let's define a card dash body and inside card dash body we have a card dash tags where we have the description so let's give it here lorem 30 for now and that's it that's the very basic detail page that we need now you see here we have a detail page and if i go back here and once i route to the data so this is going to bring us the detail information right console here so how i'm going to do here is so let's go inside the search dash detail dot component dot ts so we are going to create here a component which is known as the activated route which bring us the parameters in query parameters in. so how I'm going to do it so let's going to show us right right up here so actually it should be a single and make this to be activated route and let's define that inside the constructor so private uh, it should be route and let's give it the name of the activated route and inside the constructor let's bring up here so this dot route dot query parameters as I as I explained that this coming from the activated route and we have to define here we need to subscribe so let's subscribe it and bring the response in uh, which should be actually inside another bracket and as a, as a as a parameter 
and let's consult the login to check this out whether that we are getting the right result or not. So console the log and bring up the response in. So now if I go back and refresh, now let me go back here and I, if I try to bring this VELID information, which is the ID2, and you see now the result is bringing up inside your search dash detail.component.ts, that what we actually want. Now we need to display the real information here. So we need to do here is, so let me refresh, uh, let me remove this console the log and create here a variable with the name of params data and bring up here the JSON. We need to parse it into the into the uh, string into the uh, JavaScript object. So we need to bring up the JSON dot parse and let me uh, use here response dot result that result that we need and uh, it should be actually response. All right. So right after that we need to bring up here the uh, variable that I need to create item detail as an array. So item detail should be equal to a type any and it must be an array. So right inside here, so this dot item detail equal to that params data that we that is actually passing in, right? So that's all we need. Now if I go back inside my, my uh, HTML file for the detail, so let display the real information which is inside the item detail so let's going to grab this object and define here the the uh, title so it should be dot title so similar for the price we need to bring this in remove this title it should be dot price and actually there should be no space uh, and right inside the image uh, make sure that there should be no more space so it should be nicely coded otherwise the image is not going to display it to you so item detail dot image and for the description I need to remove this all and let's display here item detail dot description which I probably gonna display all the information now let's go back here and refresh here and you see yeah we are still having an issues that it states the template of component service detail component must have some it should be class actually item detail yeah this should be the wrong it should be item detail dot description and now if i go back and refresh and you see the card is working fine now let me go back and uh, type something here let me go to this one it should be of id of something and id 13 and there we go so we are actually getting the results of the data that we needed so now we actually reaching to the detail page so that's it guys i hope you guys love and learn something out of it so if you really learn something so don't forget to like and subscribe and i want to see you for the next time